Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Um, we're down here in Naples for an unattended death. This was a uh, welfare check. The neighbors, maybe a couple of weeks went by, they realized, you know, he wasn't sitting out like he normally did. I guess he sat out front, and, you know, had uh, cigarettes and maybe a couple drinks and things like that. So they, they called for a welfare check and uh, busted open the front door. And then to, to turn the corner in the hallway and and see one of the most spread out, I would say, bio sites that, that, we've, uh, that we've run across here. All right, well, hey everyone, uh, Ed and Chris are here, uh, Spalding Decon, Southwest Florida. Um, we are back uh, early May. Uh, it's already hot out here. Um, we're down here in Naples uh, today um, for, a, um, for an unattended death. Um, and uh, like Chris had kind of tell the story, this actually goes back, I think, about five or six weeks ago when the initial uh, call came in and uh, can kind of yeah. tell them what's going on. Yeah, so about six weeks ago, I got a call from the next of kin. And she was very evasive. I don't know if she's a niece. I don't know what relationship she is. But uh, actually, they had to track her down um, to uh, notify her that she was the next of kin of this uh, deceased individual. So uh, she's out of state. Um, you know, works a full-time job. You know, had to hire a lawyer to uh, help her in assisting uh, finding out any information but because she's only next of kin but not on any of the paperwork uh, nobody would tell her anything so you know this lawyer has, that she hired um, has been trying to assist her in getting the information and she's been very leery of you know us going into the house without knowing for certain if there was homeowners insurance or you know what type of uh, assets that you know he had that we're uh, going to be able to uh, assist her in uh, the, the cleanup of the uh, bio job here that we're performing. So there was a concern there. So I guess, uh, you know, he started all the paperwork. She's making a little bit of progress. So she felt comfortable enough to finally uh, let us in to do the bio enough where the lawyer then can come in behind us and look through the paperwork. There's a tremendous amount of paperwork on all the surfaces. Um, in, in the house. Um, it's not necessarily a hoarded house, um, maybe more cluttered, but a, a lot of paperwork. So a lot of things to, uh, to look through, you know, and with the body and the bio, you know, be, being there for, for so long, um, the odor is a, is a little overwhelming. I'm kind of concerned about, you know, how uh, this individual might do in that house because uh, with the heat and stuff, it's going to be a, it's going to be a difficult task. Uh, for him, so we've kind of just tried to keep our eyes open for any papers that might be of uh, help, you know, anything to keep him from uh, maybe having to go back in there because uh, it's, uh, it's that's a tough one. Yeah. So we when we arrived here, um, so this this was a uh, welfare check. The neighbors uh, uh, had stopped by, kind of gave us a little bit of information. Uh, so I, maybe a couple of weeks went by, they realized, you know, he wasn't sitting out like he normally did. I guess he sat out front, and, you know, had uh, uh, his cigarettes and maybe a couple drinks and things like that. So it didn't seem for a while the, the yard's getting out of control. And uh, so they, they called for a welfare check. And uh, so when we came down, the um, uh, looked like the door was pretty, pretty well locked up. Uh, so it looks like they had a hard time busting that open. But... Uh, uh, so they busted open the front door, and uh, so we, we ended up, um, you know, that, that's a shame in the, these types of situations because mm -hmm. the, the next kin's out of state. There's no, no one really here to watch the property and what's going on, and, and, you know, quite frankly, you know, it was screwed shut. So anyway, we, we made entry uh, only to find, uh, as Chris explained, uh, kind of a cluttered house, but uh, not, not out of control. And then to, to turn the corner in the hallway and, and see one of the, you know, one of the most spread out, I would say, you know, bio uh, sites that, that we've uh, that we've run across here yeah, um, yeah. in Southwest Florida. So, um, uh, so yeah, you know, the crew the crew's in there now, uh, starting on the on the project. But it was 
you know, just like any of these situations, a, a sad situation. And, and we made the observation too that uh, uh, we seem to, to have found that uh, on the unattended desk, a lot of times the person is somewhere in between their bed and the bathroom. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's the same thing here. A, it was actually in the, uh, uh, in the hallway, right at the entrance to the master bedroom uh, in the hallway and uh, looked like he was on his way to the to the um, bathroom or, or coming back from or whatever went down in the hallway and uh, you know obviously that's where everything uh, everything ended so pretty bad scene it, it and it uh, uh, touches a hallway and uh, in two bedrooms and it's kind of a kind of a big mess so we, we're gonna have a little uh, little demo uh, going on here and uh, and, and more than likely, we're going to get into some tile demo as well. Uh, the whole house has a tile floor, so... Um, Excited to see you again. Excited to get down to business. All right. Sounds yep. good. Scrape it up. Unfortunate situation. You know, it's a sad situation. But hey, you know, somebody got to do the job, and my heart goes out to the family, friends. It's heartbreaking to see someone, you know, go through something like this. As you can see, the guy he laid here, however, you know, how long his body just—it's sad. Man. This is my first biohazard with them, you know. But I'm licensed. I'm, I'm EPA certified, so I can do it, you know. And um. Hey, I'm, I'm proud of the job, you know, I love it. Not the fact that someone, you know, deceased. I don't mind doing it. Somebody has to do it. I do it with a heart of compassion. You know, heart of compassion. You know, it's wise for people that you have elderlies in your family, you know, um, no matter what they may be going through in life, you know, check on them, look out for them. You know, check on their well-being, their safety. You know, don't forget about them, because you get that, that, you get up an age like that, you'll want somebody to look out for you. So this is my first YouTube <laughs> YouTubers. A well-spoken man. Yep. A fine addition to Spoken Beacon. Oh, wow, that's a lot of What happened? Rats in here? Yeah, there was rats in here. That's rats. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they were eating off the body. Oh, I know, it's a good question. <laughs> So this is what he was laying. This is what he was lying at. You know, we're gonna have to take up the baseboard. Got to take this out the baseboard. Possibly the towel. I guess these are the maggots. Got all over the body and now they're stuck to the wall. My name is Craig Williams. From Fort Myers, Florida, EPA certified, universal, and you know I I love the work. I love cleaning. I love to help people. It's sometimes it's a dirty job, 
you know, unpleasant, you know, unfortunate situation like this. Hey man, we're here to do the job, get the job well done, make sure we restore everything and hey man, that's pretty much it. And I love to fish. So YouTube, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get me a YouTube fishing too. And that's gonna be my YouTube fishing partner behind the lens. That's right, Please. yes sir. Peace, family. Collaboration. That's right. And I, I love it, I enjoy it. You know, I love working for Spalding Decom. <laughs> He's Trust. spokesman. Yeah, right? He is, huh? <laughs> so if you need assistance, Miss Carissa, Mr. Ed, AKA Superior, the boss lady. This is Superior <laughs> Cleaning, yo. Superior, trust me, Superior. Where are we at right now, Uncle Ricky? I'm trying to figure out if I need to cut all this drywall off. But I do have a lot of blood under here. But the only way I can get to clean it is I gotta remove that drywall so I can get my hand in there. I, I would almost guarantee it's at least on this this half part. You know, to chip away that tile. Do you guys have a tile chipper? I've got a, a roto hammer here. Yeah. yeah. Well, we have some bio down here, in here. I have a feeling this one's probably bio too. I've tried about a million times. Yeah, over and over and over and over. Yes, yeah, so this whole thing is obviously loaded, right? Yep. Well, you guys just got this off. So is this the first piece you took off? Yes. We're going to end up taking tile out. I mean, what we have here and, you know, usually the the um, uh, mortar or whatever, or the uh, thin set that's used to put this in is uh, is troweled. So there's probably a high likeliness that, that some bio went under, you know, underneath. You want to just take one out real quick? And... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to have to take... Uh, and I think we got it over here too, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna have to get get out the uh over the hill. Yeah. This just has a probably a little little better chance, but I don't I don't think we're gonna I don't think it's gonna work. 
it's, it's porous enough, it's, right. it's going down the through, you know. So you were indicating right in here mostly, so let's, mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna have to come out the whole way around. This whole thing here, the whole way over to there. I'll go to the store and get the chisel. I could have sworn I bought oh, one, if not two, but uh, where the hell they're at. The work, this is going to have to come up. Uh, there's no way that bio didn't go underneath, you know, at least here. And then, uh, and then we'll kind of see as we pull it out if it's in here or not. So maybe we just do this piece and, and not this one. I don't know. So all that's indicating? A lot of it is, yes. Absolutely. I mean, all this is indicating that there's a few areas that, that don't, but, you know, it could be underneath of it, too. Yeah. If this is where the bot... Uh, bio was then that baseboard's got to go okay. so that's got to go the drywall's got to go this tile's got to go tomorrow how far you want me to pop the tile out well so what i think what we'll do first <coughs> is let's finish the drywall mm -hmm. the baseboard uh, i'll call it the soft the, the soft product uh let's finish yeah. all that because we got to take this off yeah, over here oh, we got to go yeah. back back there probably a little bit of the, uh, the closet the, wall right, the right behind here no yeah. like maggots was all the way to the corner okay well that they went to the corner we want to go as far as we need to but not any further than we need to right. so if it wasn't any bio let's not go over there you know uh, so obviously this odor you, you must be half immune to it right now standing mm -hmm. there without your mask on but uh um now i don't uh, smell it anymore oh i i still smell it you but do? yeah but you've been in it all day you know that's that's what happens, but uh, <laughs> but the ozone will really help with that. But the ozone machine really helps because all these soft goods, uh, this clothing and everything, that odor yes. has gotten into those clo yeah. that clothing. So if you took that out right now and gave it to somebody across the street yeah. and they smelled it, they're gonna say, oh my God, that um, smells like a dead body. And then on top of that, the maggots and the flies was on everything. Well, so. yeah, so, but that, the ozone machine helps uh, with soft goods, removing that odor. So anyway, we're going to run that machine. Uh, typically, we run it uh, 48 hours at least on a job like this that has this much decomposition and smell for that long gotcha. and closed up. So that'll be the last thing we do tonight is uh, put that on there. Uh, well, here we are. So it's uh, Monday, May 3rd. Uh, so we're just wrapping up. Uh, I'm going to call it day one. A lot of times on the bios, it's uh, we're in and out in, in a day's time. Uh, this one is uh, definitely unique in a way, uh, more extensive um, than some of our bios of the, of the past, and it laid there uh, so much longer. So, uh, so we have basically two bedrooms. We have a hallway that we had to take up uh, drywall, baseboard, uh, also some of the tile. Uh, the whole house is tile. This could be a fairly extensive amount of tile just because this was a long, I want to say maybe 20, uh, 20 some feet uh, from from the start of the bio to the end of the bio. You know, definitely one of the uh, one of the more challenging uh, ones from a you know from a demolition and, and uh, you know deconstruction standpoint uh, to you know to, to find where all this bio is. So you know today was uh, was a pretty good day. We do have the ozone running uh, again, pretty intense uh, situation in there. But uh, so tomorrow will be a lot of construction. All right, so. Um, uh, Ed and uh, Carissa is in, uh, out on another project right now, but uh, Spalding Decon Southwest Florida. So we are uh, we're wrapping up here at our uh, Naples um, uh, Bio uh, Decomp situation. Uh, again, probably the the largest uh, decomp uh, and bio uh, that, that we've dealt with here. So um, pretty hard work, pretty pretty tough day. Um, two-day project we're, we're satisfied with with what's going on and uh and we look forward to um you know the next step with this uh next again all right ed we'll see you next time all right thank you thank you thanks for coming down evan yeah thanks for watching guys don't forget to like share subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode for more information visit any of our locations